Welcome to the Sonic Frontiers quick review. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time reviewing these games because I think, in all honesty, people don't watch a whole video when it's that long. So I'm just going to go through some of the pitfalls and some of the good things about this game and that's starting now. So I'm in the second area of the game and one of the great things I think about this game is the amount of odes it has to the old Sonic games. For example, there's a fishing section with Big the Cat, and you can fish out things like the robot fish and the time trial completion signs and all that sort of thing. Um, the open areas, there's tons of stuff to do, and it's all very quick, so I find it very addictive playing this game. Now, the only bit that lets it down is these areas. So some of these are 2D sections and I'll go into one of them now. So this is an example of one of the 2D sections. This is a particularly good one. Um, it's actually just 2D. Some of them take on um, a kind of 2.5D um, perspective and they can be difficult to control at times. Uh, whereas this one, if I've fallen down there, that's my own fault. But some of them, uh, the constant changing camera angles and whatnot, can make it very difficult to control. Um, however, I reckon 80% of these 2D stages are good fun and kind of break up the more 3D exploration based gameplay. Also, there's little missions that you do on these. For example, collect all five red stars, uh, finish with a certain amount of rings, finish in a certain amount of time. Um, and they're quite fun to try and complete, although some of them are pretty difficult. This is one of the easier levels and is actually quite enjoyable. It really breaks it up nicely. Once you get to the end of the level, you get a ranking based on your speed, how many red stars you have, and also whether you finished it all or how many rings you got, that sort of thing. And it's quite fun trying to get all of those. Even the loading screens, brief as they are, allow you to have a little bit of gameplay and then you can see in the bottom right there you can just end it once it's finished. So I'll just show you a little bit of gameplay in one of the open areas. So you're free to run around basically wherever you want, pretty much do whatever you want and there's loads of little things like this where you just sort of get onto it and it will take you around and you have to sort of change, jump around and you collect these little things that you can use to unlock parts of the story and progress the game onwards. It's quite simple really. It's like a lot of other open world games, but um, it's a lot more fun and uh, varied than a lot of other open world games. It's probably the best Sonic game I've played in many, many years. Um, the last Sonic game I played that I really, really enjoyed uh, was Sonic Mania and before that was Sonic Adventure. So. Few and far between really, but in my opinion this one's a, a definite, I'd say 8 out of 10. It has its little issues, like some of the 2D levels are very difficult to control, but overall 8 out of 10 and a really good effort from Sonic Frontiers. So with that, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, give the video a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.